So I believe that the uh, eighth verse of chapter 2 of 1 Corinthians leaves us with a question. And uh, I believe the question is simply this. It said, how much does the devil know? And we know he knows a lot. And we know that he has tremendous ability to influence. But how much does he know? And it brings us to the question is if he knows that ultimately he's going to be defeated, why does he keep on doing what he does? And why does he keep trying to influence the way he does? Well, I believe that leads us with a question. Verse 8 says, which none of the princes of this world knew. For had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So, like I say, that leaves us with the question, because you read the Revelation, it tells us what the ultimate uh, doom of the devil is, the wicked one. We know that, that ultimately, and you, you've, we've all used the expression, we took a look at the end of the book, and we know that we win. But why does he keep doing what he does? And why does he keep bringing people into his dominion. Well, I believe that that's just the very spirit of the devil. That that spirit to control and to conquer. Because you remember when uh, Jesus confronted the man, we find this in the gospel of Mark, it, they, he said, uh, Jesus said, well, who are you? And he said that we are legion because there are many of us. And then they began to beseech Jesus that he would not just destroy them, but he would cast them into those swine, which ends up going down the hill and going into the sea and, and, and perished anyway. But they knew who Jesus was. They recognized who he was, and they begged that they not be cast out into such a place that they would cease to exist. So we tell, or we can tell from the word of God that there, there is activity between the spiritual and the demonic, a recognition of God. But again, the question of just exactly how much do they know? The devils, the princes of this world, and why do they keep trying so hard to bring so many people into their dominion and into their influence. Because that spirit is very much alive in the world in which we live today. But the good news is this. It brings us to the place of recognition and the reality that there are spiritual forces at work. And, the church, listen to this, because this is very, very important. We have power over. Remember, Jesus said it himself. He said, the, the church, he said, the church, he said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Church. We're the church. We're the mighty army of God with banners. We have power and authority over spiritual forces of the demonic. We just have to know who we are. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.